What's going on guys? My name is Albert. Welcome to Hong Bros. Uh, today we are, we got some GTR content for you. Today we're going to make my friend's GTR look not like this, but some like this. We're going to do the roof. We're going to do the roof black and we're going to do the antenna black. It's got an Evo. Is it 9? Yep. Evo 9. Ooh, baller rims. All right, so we're going to be doing it on his red GTR. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Uh, we've kind of prepped it already. We've washed the top. Uh, we've already removed the whatever you call these little rain side, guards. little rain guard side pieces. Yeah. So this one is the right side. So you see the hook there? It's in the front. So you have to start from the back. So what you do is you take one of those uh, panel prior thingies. Or you can take a screwdriver and carefully pop it up from the back. You pop it up from the back and you take the entire piece off. And same thing for the left side. And now I'm going to show you guys how to take out the antenna. Uh, we got two. Hey. Might be kind of dark, but there's a cable here that's connected to the, uh, the oh, thank you, connected to the antenna. So you're going to disconnect that first and then there's going to be a uh, nut right here that's a 22 millimeter so you're gonna have to take that out first all right so i sorry i couldn't show you guys this uh takes like three hands to record and you know do this because you got to pull down the liner and then you gotta you know do the thingy so yeah this is a 22 millimeter so you're gonna take that off loosen it the bottom as you can see spins right so loosen that up and then once you get here, right here, you're going to have to pinch the uh, two little white tabs and then push up and the antenna should come out. Uh, I'll show you guys once I remove it first. All right, we have finally pulled it out of there, right? So this is the piece I was talking about, like the two white tabs right here. You have to push in for it to uh, pop out on top. So it helps when you have somebody on top pulling it. Um, but you don't have to because you just push on the little silver piece once you push these guys in and you just pull up. So kind of hard, kind of easy. And this is my assistant, Jen. This, that's his GTR. This is IG handle. And that's his Evo. And that's his 4Runner. And there's a truck somewhere too, right? No, just, nope, no truck today. just uh, these three vehicles. Yep. So we've laid down the vinyl. This is a 3M. Uh, don't get confused. If you order off Amazon, they'll put like a Vivid sticker. It's not. Just check the backing and it'll say like 3M or something. Okay, so that's 3M. So something you got to look out for is like this is bad vinyl because it's already got like streaks and like marks on it. So just be careful when you cut it. Make sure you, you know, uh, if you don't want to use that piece, then scoot it over like we did. So that's why there's a lot of excess here. So measure it out. Good to go. And now I am going to, oh yeah, we got these magnet things to kind of just like hold down the vinyl. But now we're just going to peel it up, peel the, uh, the vinyl. So you want to keep the vinyl face down so like dirt doesn't get into it. So the backing, you're just going to fold up, um, peel like forward or you can peel back, whichever way, as long as the vinyl on top is facing down. So once we lay down the vinyl and we measured it and make sure, you know, to make sure it's even length across both sides, right? You're going to lock down the centerpiece because you don't want to work uh, like a quadrant and then focus on a different quadrant. You want to work on halves, right? That way it's easier. So you just lock it in, right? It helps when you have somebody else lifting it up and then you just lock it in. So now all we got to do is you lift up. Same thing. You lift up and you just squeegee it up. All right? So you want to make sure like as you squeegee, you want to continue touching some of the uh lockdown piece and some of the piece that aren't locked down. All right? Just like like so. All right? So the goal the reason why you want to use a squeegee is cuz you have air. You want to take the air out. Now, fingers, yeah, you can use your fingers, but the squeegee will actually push out more air in certain areas that your fingers can't. And right here, 
So you're starting to uh, wrinkle a little bit, but that's okay. That's why you want to do it in like a straight line. And that's why the squeegee helps. And then it helps when you also pull on it like so. All right, and so we're just gonna keep doing that. And then once it's like leveled out and, and glassed out, then uh, I'll uh, get back to you guys. All right, so we've laid down the vinyl and we've trimmed uh, pretty much a good chunk of it. So what you wanna do is you wanna tuck in the, these uh, edges here first. And then, uh, well, you wanna leave a bunch of excess, not too much, but just enough to where it lands in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. if, if you cut it short and you land it right on the edge, that's fine too, because the, uh, whatever these things are called, it's going to cover it up. So you're honestly good up to like the halfway point right here, because it's gonna be all covered up. So yeah, those things, <laughs> yes. So now we're going to put this antenna and we're going to send it through this piece of vinyl. So what I did is I found, uh, I guess, two steady pillars or whatever poles and I wrapped the top piece and I locked it in on the bottom piece. So what I got to do now is I need to heat it up. Get one to get all the wrinkles out, right? So we're going to get all the wrinkles out. When you heat gun, make sure you don't uh put it super close because it's like super close to the vinyl because that's going to one melt the hell out of the vinyl all right and two it's going to discolor the vinyl so once you heat it up okay you're going to wait for it to cool down a little bit because it's pretty much melted you're going to take this come on the back side and you're just going to push through like so Okay, and then you just gotta hold it. Hold it a little bit. Make sure this is nice and firm on the bottom. Okay. So once you get here, you're pretty much halfway done. So all you gotta do is you just gotta continue the heat gun to warm it up again. Because right now it's already uh, cooled down, so it's not going to stretch as much. So go ahead and heat it. Heat the sides, heat the bottom. All right. And then wait, cool a little bit, and then continue to push. Continue to push through. All right, once you push through, go ahead and lock it in. So top sides right here lock it in just like that all right lock in the sides here so you want to do the top first then you want to do the sides and then everything else is going to be easy after this so you just want to work the edges right while you still have it pushed in here and work the edges and that's pretty much it all right so pretty much you just cut around right once you push the uh, antenna through and so i've already done the, the couple corners so i'm gonna teach you how i'm gonna do the last corner so what i like to do is i like to cold stretch it so uh, grab it from two different corners from like a 90 or 60 degrees you're gonna pull you're gonna hold one two three four five one two three, four, five, right? Then let go. And you're just gonna touch it with your thumb. You're gonna touch the corner. The corners are one of the spots that fail the most, right? So when you're doing it, don't pull too tight, right? You just wanna hold it. You wanna apply just enough pressure to hold it, okay? And then after this, we're just gonna cut it and we're good to go, see? All right, I'm gonna cut it and then I'll show you guys. All right, guys, and this is the final product of the uh, antenna, right? So you push it through, and this is what it's gonna look like on the back side. You're just gonna trim around, not, you can leave a little bit of excess, right? And it doesn't matter if there's wrinkles in the back because it's the back, right? It's gonna be face down on the roof. So now, once you, you know, are complete, what you always wanna do is you wanna heat the corners because the corners are uh, a friction point 
where things can fail, right? So just touch it with some heat. Touch it with some heat. Not too much, right? So that should make everything shrink, okay? Once that's done, then you're going to just, again, run it through with your fingers. And then backside, of course, touch the edges because that's where it usually fails, all right? And voila, it is done. See? Done. All right, so we're pretty much done uh, with all the trim and stuff. And everything's all tucked in, so the last thing you gotta do is you gotta post heat. Post heat everything, always. You can do, ooh, hey. You can post heat with the natural sun, or you can post heat with a heat gun. Since it's cold outside, we're gonna do heat gun. So I like to do like five passes. Okay, and then once you, you wanna make sure you touch it, all right? Make sure it's all sealed in, locked in. All right, and then lock it in one last time. And then we gotta worry about this right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is gonna heat it up. And then we're just gonna poke a hole. We're just gonna, you can use your pinky or whatever. It doesn't matter, because this thing's gonna get covered up by the uh, antenna anyway, so there we go. And then just wrap underneath. However, use your pinky, whatever. All right. All right. Da, da, da. Now you can get it perfect if you want, but it's not really gonna matter. Okay. That's that. Then you're gonna take your antenna right here, right? And remember, you're just going to feed this through, and then. These two white clips right here, it's gonna lock it in, okay? So make sure you tuck the wire underneath straight. You might get a little resistance because of the headliner. Maybe reposition that, right, there we go. All right, give me a sec. I'm going to go inside and reposition it. Right. Yeah. And then you're just gonna lock it in. Can you push it in? Yep. Did it push in? It's pushed in. Is it in? It is. Alright. It should be in. If not, you have the. Uh, if not, you have this right here. This uh, locking nut thing. And this is where the wires come out of. Alright, the opening. The wires come out this way. And then you're just going to tighten it up. Okay? So. Alright. Alright, you guys. And so we've put it back together. Uh, don't forget to plug the antenna piece back in right here this one and then right here is the nut that goes in there make sure you uh put that back on right and remember the opening is where the wire comes out all right so get that in there should be good to go all right guys so we're gonna install this thing the windshield thingy the not the windshield the whatever whatever all right so you're gonna take the pointy end Stick it in there, right? And then you're going to line it up. Now there's gonna be little black spacer things. Make sure that's not on top of these, all right? So then you're just gonna pop.
pop it into place, like so. Voila. Yeah, that was good. See, now it really matches his, uh, all the black. He's got like black headlights. If you read it, you got this repainted. This is all like that gray that's on here instead of that wrap thing. Look at that. Now it needs to get wiped off, but it's a little, a little greasy from our hands. Look at that. And look at that. Wow. One last time after we wiped it down. And just like that, that's going to end today's video. Hope you guys learned something today. If you guys have any questions about this install or how to remove something, just let me know in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Uh, but other than that, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, bye.